Welcome everyone of course to Juno Sud Official. Gonna check out this video from real pitch. You guys have made the request. Of course the title, subtitle sorry, has been added onto the video and of course the Thai subtitle will hopefully be added onto this video reaction. And of course if you can please make support to the donation, the PayPal that will be in the description because we have to pay for the subtitle to add the English to the video and then we have to pay for the Thai subtitle to add it onto the reaction video and then go ahead and publish it for you guys. Of course thank you so very much. Let's go ahead and check out this one from real pitch. Let's go ahead. Hello. What did you know? Okay, I'll go and ask him. You know, but I can see many of you love my school experience. Yes, actually, because most of us can relate to it. So it's good to do the school experience video because we can relate to it. Yes. High school experience. Here we go, guys. I hope you guys can relate to it. Most likely, I can relate to it too. Why is dress in? It's good. I don't know. <laughs> what? It is extreme. Yeah. I think I can try it sometimes. <laughs> oh. No one likes tax, but you know it's part of the economy. You have to pay for tax, you know. But <laughs> see. <laughs> Which is Ooh, so he's gonna talk about many different type of students. What type of student were you? Before he say, let me tell you what type of student I am. I was a basically come early to school type of student. Very early. I used to be like an hour before school start. Um do my homework after school or before school start kind of student. Stay in the classroom during break time kind of student. Bring your snack to school type of student. I was not at all one of the students who would go around or being in different corners of the yard. I was not that type at all. It was a strictly stay, come to school, while I have free time, finish my work in the early morning, um, leave as soon as I can, wait for a vehicle or bus. Now, luckily the students have a bus picking them up before you have to wait by the road till a bus pass to go to your village or something like that. Let's, let's say uh, very long ago. Ooh, if you guys are wondering, it's about 11 years ago, I think, since I finished high school. 12 years, actually. Jeez, man, it's 12 years ago since I finished high school. <laughs> I was a nerd up to fifth form, the last year of school when I got my glasses. But I was like a nerd without the glasses anyway, so I was basically a nerd. Uh, wait, wait, what? The king restaurant? The what? Just a moment. Most of fun in a king, oh, king room. Oh, okay. Yes. That was me without the glasses. Yes, that was me too. I always sat in front of the class. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, okay, so basically I was a nerd in high school. Yes, everything. Front of class, high grades, um, teachers, pet, everything. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. I absolutely did not take part in sports. Actually, they forced me to take part in sports. You want to know how? They told me, they made it um, mandatory basically that at the end of the year, just when you're about to graduate, you had to do some sort of um, bell mash or something. You had to have some sporting activities at the end of the school, um, not the year, but school um, period basically. So I had no choice but to take part in sports a bit at the end of the entire five years. Yeah, you feel bad. You feel bad. <laughs> and that is one thing I regret. I feel I should have done more physical and learned more skills in high school. Um, they were teaching us basically, or they gave us the impression that it's always good to get good grades. Um, but you need to develop some skills. You need balance, sports, skills, and education. Um, intelligence. You need all of that. You you, you need all of that to to go out into this crazy world. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah, 90 plus will get bullied. <laughs> oh my 
Oh, I'm trying to go back to see that. I've heard a new Nihong. Whack! <laughs> That's very creative. That's very creative. <laughs> Oh boy, backroom kids. Oh boy. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I Nudy appearance, but they're quite intelligent. Oh boy. <laughs> Pow! Why did they sit? Oh boy. Oh boy. Bad things happen in the back room. Oh boy. The forgetful kids? What are those? What are those type? They forget things? <laughs> oh boy. They brain is just empty <laughs> all these kinds the ones who forget everything at home and always want to borrow I call them the sneaky kinds I think they have the things at home and they pretend like they keep forgetting and they're collecting everybody else's and they're using it they're forgetting everything oh boy look he forget he forget why he won the pencil <laughs> bro what did you bring to school what next he forget what to do. <laughs> he forget what he need to do. What? Yeah, you know you have those actually that bold enough to say bomb your homework here. Yeah. Oh boy. Bro, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he have those forgotful ones. The funny kids. Oh, nice. The one everyone likes. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but they're still laughing. They're like the Joker. You know, always cheerful but very calm artist underneath. Oh boy. <sighs> you have those like that actually. They show that sign of happiness but they're quite depressed and down. And it's sometimes because of the home, like when they go home, mother, father making noise, maybe the environment, there's people smoking. Home may be depressed them, so they have to show that extra um, sign of happiness and being fun in school too. You know, stay sane. Because a lot of teenagers or children go through stuff also and they don't speak, honestly. Um, so when people express themselves, sometimes you just have to understand that's how they have the ability to do it. The quiet kids. Yep. Oh boy, you know, the quiet kids are not to be trusted sometimes. That's all I'll say. Oh boy, they don't say nothing. They just go to school, come home. I know one like that. I don't have a good friend like that. Oh boy. I, I don't like the popular kids in school. Some of them are bullies. But they are like taking advantage of people kind of bully. Yeah. The SSR of students. They, they, they're perfect. But it's like sometimes they're not nice. That's just the thing. Sometimes because they've got it all balanced, they're not nice. Maybe it's different in Thailand. <laughs> what is this one? 
ช่ครับผมไม่ได้เป็นนักเรียนประเภทที่แอบอิจฉาเด็กป๊อปปูล่าอยู่ห่างๆ You never be jealous of people because you don't know what they've gone through Like you might see a child who you think is rich and have it all But the parents may have struggled quite a lot Um, to reach in a prestigious position, and they were born into that prestigious position. The children, but someone had to struggle at some point or suffer at some point to for that child to be enjoying that rich um, wealth, that popularity, all of that. Oh boy, the greedy child eat everything. Gosh. <laughs> no, bro, you're too big. They make you hungry. <laughs> And they will not share with you. They will not share with you. And you just want to tell them, you already so big, share. But they will not share with you. <laughs> oh boy. คือผมคงไม่แปลกใจแล้วอ่ะถ้าเพื่อนพวกนี้เขาเอาหัวทามาปิ้งกินในห้องโอ้บอยโอ้ gosh how can someone sleep in school so much I have those persons who do that they would sleep in school they come to school to sleep basically ทุกห้องเรียนเนี่ยจะมีเด็กคนหนึ่งที่แบบหลับตลอดเวลานักเรียนประเภทนี้เนี่ยจะหลับได้ตลอดเวลาแล้วก็หลับได้ทุกที่แต่ก็เป็นเรื่องที่เข้าใจได้เพราะว่าบางทีคนเราก็ต้องใช้พลังงานในการที่จะมีสมาธิในการเรียนทําให้บางครั้งเนี่ยนักเรียนบางคนหลับในห้องเรียนเพื่อที่ตื่นมาแล้วจะได้มีสมาธิในการเรียนมากขึ้น They always sleeping They cannot stop from sleeping <laughs> oh, so those are the ones who have, um, I would say prior commitments, but they are committed more to something else than school. So they are doing something they enjoy more than school. Hence, when they're in school, they're sleepy. Makes sense. Oh boy. No, they just prefer gaming than school. <laughs> Those are the ones who are extremely smart because they don't listen in class and yet still they pass the class. Yeah, you have those like that. The sleeping child knows. Oh boy, <laughs> class is over. What homework? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, nobody like that one. Oh gosh, even the nerds do not like that one. The one who remind. Well, this one looks like a nerd, but some nerds do not rem like those other nerds that like to remind the teacher of the assignment the day before. Okay, some of us would do it, but we don't want it unless the teacher asks for it. We will not bother. And then there's some who will actually say like, "And don't forget the exam. Don't forget the homework you gave us." Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> the entire class is gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, that was a nice one. <laughs> wow. Well, you like to play games. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's good to play games. I'm starting to enjoy it. I am. Oh wow. Very good. I'm anime creator. Real pitch. Real stories. I'm a nerd. Clearly. แล้วตอนนี้เนี่ยยอด subscriber ของผมก็เกือบจะถึง1ล้านแล้วนะครับสำหรับใครที่ยังไม่ได้กด subscribe ก็อย่าลืมกดให้ผมด้วยนะครับ almost 2 million subscribers แล้วก็ไหนดูซิว่าคลิป8 minutes now โอเคโอเคถึงแล้วงั้น it's done finish end it of course thank you for your questions one guys don't forget please subscribe to the channel and of course don't forget support real peace channel and don't forget buy his stickers and support his merch okay thank you so very much bye guys